now the instructor can stay to the face of their audience. I'm only limited to the size of how big my screen is. And uh, it's been a tremendous, I think, decision from our standpoint and put it in the hands of our faculty. And one of the nice things about it is I'm able to prepare uh, my class examples and class notes ahead of time in Word docs or PDFs. And then when I come into the classroom, I can actually import them as uh, Starboard files. And then they're, when they're interactive uh, when I come into class. I can show my examples uh, in class with digital ink. I can easily change colors. I can highlight things. Um, in the classroom, I like it because I'm not looking at the whiteboard all the time. So I can actually look out at the classroom and, and see if students are with me or not while I'm teaching because I'm facing them the whole time. And also I've had some positive feedback because there's no glare from the light uh, that it's much easier for them to view what I'm doing uh, on the computer. So it's, it's been a great resource. With this age of technology today, students are very, you know, always on the internet, whether it's in their palm, uh, at home on their computer, or at the library, uh, here at, at the library at Phoenix College or their local library, public library. And, and now with the, uh, with the Star Panel, for example, a lot of that information is, is uploaded to an instructor's webpage so that assignments or uh, presentations that they made in class are not missed. And, and the idea is particularly the annotated notes that uh, we see. Anything that you might draw on the board, you can actually capture and then post for students who missed it or per students who didn't draw fast enough or even their, like our English as second language students who they don't process as fast because it's a different language for them. It's really nice to be able to just to say, here it is, this is, what, this is the drawing that I need you to know and here's why. And, and so it's, re it's really, really handy instead of having to meet with individual students every time because they're like, what was that drawing again? And I didn't have that this year and it was really, really nice. The capability of you know, write, writing a problem and then going back to it, you know, because it saves it on pages, so we can go back a couple pages. You know, when you erase the whiteboard, you can't go back. You say, oh, remember that problem we did like 10 minutes ago? Oh, wait, we erased it. Here, I can refer back to problems that we've already worked out because they're there still, you know? And then students, I save them, put them online so the students can go access them online. So if they don't have time to copy everything I'm doing in class, they can go and they know they got, a, they got an opportunity to get the rest of the information. I also have an alternative motive. I'm the president or the chair of the PCA Green Committee here on campus. And uh, to reduce the use of whiteboard markers um, through my department, I highly encourage other instructors to use this technology because obviously uh, you're not wasting the, um, the non-recyclable markers and the fumes that go in the atmosphere and everything else. So it's, it's a win-win, I think.